Here I have a convex mirror, something that you would find as a security mirror in a store or maybe on the back of a truck to see around the corner. How are we going to measure the focal length? I have the mirror far away from the bulb. The bulb is all the way on the other side of the room again. And now we can see that the mirror is spreading the light out. This does not bring the light to a focus on this sheet of paper. It spreads the light out. It's a diverging mirror. What I have to do is look at the curve of the cone of light that's spreading out and imagine it being backtraced to a point behind the mirror. Here we have the convex mirror and a light ray is approaching parallel to the principal axis. I drew in the normal line and now it will reflect away from what appears to be a focus behind the mirror. Another light ray coming in parallel. We'll do the same thing and it will seem like it's coming from the same virtual focus. And this is why we saw a cone of light spreading out from the mirror. When I put the paper up here I saw light shining up here. We have to imagine tracing that back to a point and calling that the focus. There's really no light back there so we call it a virtual focus. A virtual focus is a negative value. So what happens when we move closer to the convex mirror? The light ray goes in parallel to the principal axis and reflects away from the virtual focus. If the next light ray goes into the center, it will reflect away the same angle. And I can trace that light ray back. The intersection is where I believe the image is. It's smaller and it's upright. It's behind the mirror and there's no light really there. It is virtual. Let's do a calculation. I'll make the focus negative 10 centimeters. Remember the negative sign is because it's virtual focus. DO is approximately 12 centimeters on this scale. Now we'll use the formula to calculate DI. DI is found to be negative 5.5 centimeters. That makes sense. There's 10 centimeters that's just a little bit more than halfway and it is a negative which means it's a virtual image. Now let's take a look at the heights. On this scale the height of the object is about 8 centimeters. And yes there's a negative sign there that makes this negative sign go away and we end up with the height of the image about 3.6 centimeters. If this is 8, yeah, that's a little less than halfway up. Everything checks out. 